in the purpose section, I try to give a lot of the historical precedent for uh, what we know about learning and try to dispel this old belief that intelligence itself is some sort of monolithic thing. Really, what we know about intelligence is that intelligence is a combination, an integration, three specific things. One is, of course, your biology, what your neurology is set up for, how you were born, the accidents of your birth. The other component is your history and your experiences and what people have actually taken the time to actually teach you. And the third component of intelligence is what's going on in the moment right now. I mean, you could be born with per the perfect biology, let's say, for mathematics. But if you grew up in a family that never did mathematics, never talked about mathematics, did not value mathematics, like many people in the, this day and age in the United States, well, chances are you're not going to develop that mathematical sense that was, you know, part of your biology. That neurology is going to get used for something else. Inversely, you could have the perfect biology, the perfect history where parents helped you and worked with you on, on your math. But if you are working in an environment where it's just noisy, chaotic, and people don't value mathematics, um, well, again, you're not going to look very intelligent at math in that situation. It really is when these three features come into alignment that we are able to experience this thing called intelligence. We never really actually have it 